When I started the center four years ago, um, the ambition and the vision I had was to recruit scientists who shared this idea of, of scientific excellence, but also uh, synergy, to work together. And what I mean by that is that you're really willing to share your latest data, you collaborate with other scientists. And this has sort of now developed uh, not only within the center, but also together with other scientists at the faculty. You know, we have people from abroad who visit our centers and, and actually are interested in how we set up uh, such an uh, sort of interactive type of research environment. So I think that not only for, for foreign institutions, I think this could be a great inspiration for uh, others here in Denmark as well. I see DANSTEM as a very important part of the faculty. So this is why it's important for us to conduct you know, really good research, be involved in, in outreach activities that also uh, people, if they remember what we do, it's something they will also remember the faculty. Uh, but we also are dependent on, on the faculty, so uh, you know, we see now, for instance, that we are uh, we're starting to work together with other departments, also to collaborate with other uh, research groups. And to give just one example, one of the scientists that we recently recruited works on zebrafish. And uh, in collaboration with the faculty and other research groups, we recently established a state-of-the-art zebrafish facility which is now open for all scientists at the faculty. In the cancer and diabetes, the center uh, has made core discoveries uh, in, in basic research and are now preparing to take those discoveries into translational applications in cancer treatment but also in, in cell therapy in diabetes. Lastly, I would like to mention also outreach and dissemination. And we've been targeting the, the high school students and teachers in, in, in Denmark. And we involve the young scientists here. It's not the, the old scientists like me, because the students, of course, they, they can sort of relate to the young scientists much better. And this has been extremely successful. And we have a lot of schools who want us to come back and also to go to new schools. And this is something we will continue with. And, and this is particularly important uh, because, you know, with tight economy around the world now, it's, it's difficult to argue why we need support for basic research. But this is, explains to the society that we really need to do good uh, basic research in order to make discoveries that we then can utilize to translate into new therapies and treatments of severe diseases. <laughs>